good morning crafty friends just back to um, show you a new book I recently got um, I'll, I'll tell you everything about it in a moment um, it's called extraordinary things to cut out and collage it's a great big book um, A4 I would say it's a little touch bigger than an A4 size um, it's got over 15,000 images so we're gonna have a look at this today because I haven't really seen much of it either but I've got it facing the other way round to me so because of the camera so I'm hoping you'll be able to see but it looks it looks really good it's available on Amazon for £14.29p I know this seems a lot but there is a lot of lovely images in here that you can create with so um let's have a look through so let's go through we've got an index oh this is nice see this what they've done here it's lovely um there's an introduction um inspiration um how to build collages photographs etc there's a nice page here mm. things you need tools and materials I think we've all got that sort of stuff in our stash build how to build a collage um that's some really nice ones. Yeah, I, I see this hand in the in the book, and I'm thinking about doing that myself. Um, things to create. Um, embedding into an image. Um, yeah, more images. More. Right, this is the start of the directory of it. So, let me pull that into view. So, we've got um, people, various people. As you as you can notice on here, I don't know if you can see it, but they've got like um, a cut-out line. It's not literally cut out, but you have to do that yourself. But there's like a white line going around each of the images so you can be more precise you know when you're cutting out um you could use a like a craft knife or you can use fussy cut with scissors i prefer to fussy cut because i always slip with the knife and it always tears the paper um more people um more people Um, dancing people, more people, people that are doing sports, um, lots of face images, isn't she lovely, very pretty, and that one there, really nice, oh, noses and lips and eyes. I like these ones, I love that hand, There's lots of hands and arms, we can't say ours because it's just above the wrist, um, oh anatomy, these are, these are nice for Halloween or gothic -y style, um, okay, men, naked men, <laughs> statues, um, yeah, more on the art side. Van Gogh and oh, more arty. Some paintings, famous paintings. Comic style strips. So you've got your superheroes. Um, random. On say, you've got circus, 
They're really nice colours on them. Very bright and they're glossy paper. It's thin paper, but they're very glossy. Um, you've got cars on that page. Um, trains, trams, sort of thing. Cars. Buses. You've got boats. Mo motorcycles. The dinghy. Um, bikes. Right, you've got um, transport like planes and ships on that one. Um, astronauts on the moon. You've got space basically. Hang on, make sure. Um, you've got parts there. Um, metal parts, cogs and industrial things. Ooh. Food, um, loads of different food. Oh, look, there's a tiny little gingerbread man. I love him, really nice. Eggs, fried eggs, and oh, there's another gingerbread man. There's a little girl as well, and a little oh, I love them. And there's more food, roast chicken there, hot dogs. <laughs> Really nice. Um, toys. There's vintage toys there. I like the robot. Robot's really nice. And then you've got household items. Look like more vintage Victorian sort of. Really nice legs on that bathtub. The old toilet with the system above. <laughs> not that I remember these because I'm not that old. Um, more household items. The old, um, I was going to say singer, but it hasn't got singer sewing machine on it. It's sewing machine, another sewing machine, um, vacuum cleaner, fridge, radios, the old style TV. Thank God we haven't got that anymore. Um, lots of greenery now, foliage, plants, really nice. I mean, they're going to take forever to cut out them ones. I mean, you'd have to leave the white in there, I think. It, it would take forever to cut around them. This one would be easy to cut out. Then you've got um, dogs. I think they're all dogs, yeah. All different breeds. Then you've got um, cats, all different cats, so cute, very cute, oh that one's a sweet little grey cat with his tongue hanging out, um, we've got buildings, lots of those, um, yeah, big major buildings, it's for cityscapes and that, oh, bigger. And then we've got um, signs, um, more Americanized. They're really nice. There's diners and Las Vegas and uh, Goodwill retro store. Uh, oh, there's one underground. Um, yeah, it's all from uh, all over the world. It looks like Hollywood. I think I'll be stealing that from my junk journal, which is. Hollywood based, well it's movie stars, but anything Hollywood will be going in there. I'll probably I'll probably stick that in there. Um yeah, and we've got um ruins and different landmarks. Um Egyptian ancient sites more of the um Let's cover them over a bit. More of the um, statues. Oh, lovely flowers. Very big flowers. Very big, that one in the middle. You can see that by the size of my hand. Um, then we've got the little, little ones here and there as well. 
Here's a nice one as well. Very bright. There's a lovely sunflower. And then we've got cacti. Well, cactus, cacti. Lots of different ones. I do like them. I really do. This one's beautiful. The colours, it's like a teal colour with some different colour greens and a yellow in it. It's really pretty. And this one's nice as well. I think they're called prickly pears. I'm not sure. I'm not up to date with plants. I always kill plants. Um, lots of trees in there. It's nice. Oh, palm trees. Banana tree. Leaves. Lots of leaves. They're really nice. It's got colours in that. It's lovely. I mean, you could go over them with your Posca pens after as well. Once you've laid them down, you can splatter them or whatever, give them more of an effect. But they've got a lovely gloss on, on the top of the paper anyway. Um, yeah, I thought that was a perforated line, but it's just a line so you could cut the whole sheet out. Um, yeah, so leaves. Then we've got um, tropical fruits. And there's peaches and normal fruits in there as well. And the cabbage, I think that is at the bottom. I don't know. I'm looking upside down, you see. Um, oh, they're not really nice. Look at the mushrooms. Look at this big one. Oh, it's lovely. Really nice. Oh, more mushrooms. Lovely. There's a blue one there. Green. I really do like them, they're really nice. Right, so we're getting on to animals now. Um, there's all different ones in there. There's some more, there's a lovely stug there. And a lovely fox. They'll be good in your autumn projects and, you know. Um, we've got, right wild animals here and cabby cats and there's a little tiny blue frog there it's cute and snakes and that oh what's that looks like a yeti <laughs> i don't know if that's a monkey or a yeti but that looks like the abominable snowman there probably is i don't know but there's lots of different types of monkeys. Um, yeah, giraffes, lovely. Is that a pony? Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm viewing this upside down. I think it's a pony. It's lovely. Little heads. Oh, there's dogs and cheetah and all different. There's some more dogs. Lovely. There's lots of, uh, what do you call them, there's pug, um, oh god, what do you call these, they are, they're pugs as well aren't they, I can't remember, it's a shame they didn't have a Staffordshire Bull Terrier in there, they've got different math, um, bull mastiff and collies and different things, oh, I hate spiders, there's a big spider one, there's a big snake, the skull, I love in the skull. Bats. Right, and there's bones. Oh, oh, lovely. Large peacock, lovely tropical birds as well around it. Hummingbird and um I can't really tell upside down. There's a little kingfisher. Really nice, pretty. Oh, yeah, more tropical birds. Really nice size they are. Oh, lovely. I think that's a heron. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. There's a swan, there's a flamingo. There's lots of different birds on that page. Oh, now we've got um, bird heads. We've got 
fish. These are really nice, pretty colours. Look at this one. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, these are lovely. I had a fish like this once myself, but it was all different colours. It was a discus. These are really nice, these fish. And these will be easy to cut out because they've, as I said, they've all got this grey like line. You can hardly see it, but they've all got like a, um, a thick grey line around them. So you can just roughly cut them out. Um, there's some more fish. More under the sea creatures, octopus and um, squids and different things like that. Then you've got your sea urchins and your coral reefs and your starfish, your crab. Really pretty. And I love the way they've done that, all different colours. Like you've got your pinks, your lilacs, your red, your orange, your yellows. Lovely. There's more of them there. Loads of shells. Nice shells. Big, nice big shells, eh? And more shells. That's one that's very pretty. It's got um, red and green in it. It's like a Christmas shell. Okay. Um, we've got butterflies, so we're going on to bugs now. And we've got lots of butterflies. And more butterflies. And moths. Probably moths as well. Oh, God. Lots of insects. Now, they made these easier to cut them around because of that grayscale line all in there so it'll be easier to cut them there's lots of bees and buggy type of insects and we've got a whole page of these feathers that you can cut out really nice whole page of um little butterflies tiny little ones whole page of these um, little flowers whole page of gems oh, they're really pretty as well and then we've got um, some buildings I recognise that building that's Battersea Power Station that's what it looks like anyway um, and we've got a great big shell. It almost looks luminous in the middle. And we've got a bowl of soup. Looks like carrot soup or something. And then we've got a large cat. Let me take that back up there a bit. Lovely grey cat. That's really large size. So if you was doing it. A large collage, that'd be ideal. A big bowl on it. They could have put something up here, really, but a large bowl of water. There's a gigantic skull. There's a large hand and um, like a dead tree branch. Then we've got little like posts, uh, postcards. It does say something on there. Um, Royal Palms and Flowers, Florida. Um, that's from Cornwall. None of them other ones say anything. These are vintage postcard pictures. Then we've got the desert with the uh, cactus. And we've got a um, very nice sort of mountain sky trees 
with the water in there. That's really nice. And big wave picture. Um, the sky again with the well this is a tropical place because of the palm trees and how it is uh, oh this is lovely that's elizabeth taylor well, i think these are going in my junk journal the movie stars so that's elizabeth taylor audrey hepburn Lucky I know who these are because there's no, nothing written down. Um, I can't see who that is and I don't know at the moment. Ah, we know who that is, don't we? Marilyn Monroe. Those are fantastic pictures. And, oh God, read, is that Reed Hayworth, I think? Beautiful. So, that's it tells you a little bit about the author and that's the back cover now this was originally well it still is originally at most places for 16.99 but on amazon it's 14 pound 29 at the moment but i think it will sell out soon because let me turn that cover out because a lot of people are buying it i mean it it really is, I mean, it is worth the money. The amount you get in there, you, I mean, the amount of projects you can do with that, it's worth getting, that's why I've got it. I usually just buy charity shop books, 10, 20, 30, maybe a pound, you know, um, and, and scrap them and cut them up and collage. But this, I think this is worth it because there is... A lot of pictures in there so you can just it's like a go-to book you know so I thought I'd come on and share that with you today so thank you very much if you like please leave a comment if you'd like me to do anything else um, I will be doing some more videos so bye bye for now